This is ABC News HD Live. You're listening to ABC News HD Live on 7 January 2019. This is ABC News HD Live. Signing off. World News. In a Palestine man, it is acknowledged that the Malaysian king steps down from throne. In the history of Malaysia, it is the first time a monarch has stepped down from the throne before completing their five-year tenure. The Malaysian king Mohammed V resigned on Sunday. The king's resignation took effect immediately, the National Palace said in a statement. No reason was given and the palace officials did not respond to requests for comment. Malaysia has nine royal households who typically take turns to sit on the throne. The selection of the next king rests on a vote of the Council of Rulers. Any rejection of Brexit deal in the United Kingdom will be in uncharted territory, says England Prime Minister Theresa May. England Prime Minister Theresa May has said on Sunday that Britain would be in uncharted territory if her Brexit deal is rejected by Parliament later this month, denying reports that should seek to delay the lawmakers' vote for a second time. Prime Minister said, Conan Kells, if the deal is not voted on at this vote that's coming up, then actually we are going to be in uncharted territory. I don't think anybody can say exactly what will happen in terms of the reaction we'll see in Parliament. Trump now deserves the foreign students from the top U.S. colleges for the growth of American firms. When the funding for the erection of the border wall along Mexico is at peak, U.S. President Donald Trump now rules that talented foreign students are leaving the United States after studying in the country's best educational institutions. He also said that he warns people with merit to stay in America and help the growth of the companies here. Addressing a press conference on Friday, Trump said that the U.S. is losing out on great minds as the country has a ridiculous immigration policy. He reiterated his wish to end loopholes in the legal immigration system so as to attract more people based on merit. Trump said, and said his administration wants people to come into the country legally and unmarried. What exactly Trump said is cut and cut. We have all these companies coming in. We need great people, but we want them to come in on in the married basis, and they have to come in on a married basis. They can come in on the way they have been coming in for years. U.S. President Donald Trump The U.S. and China are dealing with the trade negotiations at the highest levels, and President Donald Trump said claiming that America's steel industry has come rearing back following the last year's tariff highs. The Trump administration imposed the heavy tariffs on imported steel and aluminum items in March last year, a move that sparked fears of a global trade war. In the past, China, the world's second largest economy after the U.S., imposed tit for tat tariffs on billions of dollars worth of American imports, an agreement based between the two countries on the margins of the G20 summit in Argentina in November deferred the imposition of further tariffs till March. <laughs> That's all for the timing from ABC News HD Live. Thank you all for listening to ABC News HD Live. Signing off. Have a good time, Hans. Namaste.